So my name's Emma and I come from Cafe Nero in Hereford. I've been working at Nero for just over a year. So a couple of years ago, um, when I was at college, my tutor was pregnant with her first child and we were all close with her as a class. And one day between lessons, she felt something was wrong with the baby and she just popped down to the hospital just to have a routine checkup and they found there was no heartbeat. So the charity is the Born Sleep and Appeal. Um, it's to raise money to build a maternity bereavement suite at Hereford County Hospital. It will consist of three rooms, so there'll be a delivery room, there'll be a counselling room and an ensuite room for the family to stay in to support the woman who's lost the baby. So ideally I'd like to raise about £5,000 for the charity. So to raise the money we've started doing things like raffles, we're also planning a sponsored walk, so we're going to look into how many children were born sleeping last year in Hereford and we'd like to walk a mile for each of those children. It's so close to home and knowing how hard it must be to leave a hospital without their baby in their arms, passing other newborn children, I'd like to, I'd like to think we've made a difference in supporting these people and making it a little easier for them. So I'm Grant and at the moment I am in Ashford McCarthy Glen. The charity that I'm fundraising for is the Albert Kennedy Trust. Some people don't realise what it's like coming out and how hard and heart aching it can be. When I come out I was 15 and I told my father that I was gay and uh, he didn't take it so well and he turned around and called me a filthy AIDS infested faggot. So the Albert Kennedy Trust helps homeless teenagers in the LGBT plus community. My target fundraising amount is seven grand. So the way I plan on raising the funds is there's gonna be a climb up Mount Snowden. It's gonna be tough, but I know we're gonna smash it. A gala, which will be held in a Michelin star restaurant where they get to meet the mayor of Canterbury. I'm organising Nero's Got Talent with my area, my area manager, my team and also charity champions within my area. A quiz night, there's going to be live music, which is going to be amazing. Um, loads of donated uh, products from local businesses that we can auction off as well. When I got shortlisted, it felt amazing. It felt amazing that I'm helping someone, helping a charity and having such, that, such a big positive influence in people's lives. So my name is Richard, um, I've come from Manchester uh, and I'm here to put forward the cause of the Northern Lights Children's Charity. This charity is personal to me because I've got a very, very special nephew called Josh. He was born with right heart syndrome, which is a range of congenital diseases which he's struggled with and my family have supported both him and my sister for a number of years. And this charity chose him for one of his special trips and to give something back, I want to raise money for them. My fundraising target is £10,000. These funds will allow children to go on trips to places like Lapland, to see Santa as close to the North Pole as you can get. And these memories will last forever for both the children and the parents. I intend to make a fool of myself doing half marathons, skydiving, and um, we're going to use every single store in the area and as many in the region as I could possibly um, get to help me on this journey to raise money for them uh, with collection tins, sponsorship for marathons, as I said, maybe even a skydive because I know a lot of people would pay to see me jump out of an aeroplane. Okay, so my name is Sam. I'm from Reading, but I work in Alton. I'm here to raise money for Motor Neuron Disease Association. It's a charity that raises money to combat a motor neuron disease by uh, first in research as well as providing care facilities for people living with the disease. So I've chosen this charity because a regular customer who has become a very good friend of mine has recently been diagnosed with, with motor neuron disease. So the money that we would raise would benefit Mark and other people like him because it can go towards funding a tablet. So um, the Motor Neuron Disease Association have developed a technology where you can record your own voice on a tablet and this costs about £550 where a, a representative 
people would come out, they'd record an individual's voice saying various phrases and so on. So then when that person eventually loses their voice, which unfortunately is one of the symptoms of motor neuron disease, they would then be able to have their own voice to speak for them via this tablet. So we did a sponsor silence before, I think that would be repeated because that was such a success. Um, but we'd also do other smaller low key things. Uh, it's, Alton is quite a, a close community, so we'll do things like a quiz night where people would essentially like a pub quiz come to the store and would raise money for charity that way as well as doing personal individual activities like bike rides etc but also we're going to try and involve other local stores a lot of the other managers in the area would have worked in my store before and would know Mark and I feel they would be willing to to do something to raise money for this charity as well knowing that it benefits someone that they've also served and have had an impact on their lives. Hi, my name's Hayley, I'm from York Davygate and I've been a store manager for about four years now. I am fundraising this year for the BrainTumorCharity.org. It's a charity very close to my heart because I had a brain tumour and I'm still going through the process of recovery. When I was 18, I was very excited to go to York University and I met loads of nice new people who developed a new nickname for me. So they started to call me Strokey because it appeared that my face had slightly dropped. I didn't think anything of it, but the banter continued for another year and I finally went to the GP and they sent me for a MRI scan and I got told that I had Bell's palsy and that there was nothing they could do and just to leave it and it gets better. But it didn't get better. My face dropped from a grade 3 paralysis scale to a grade 6, which there is no recovery from. I couldn't smile, found it very difficult speaking and stuff. And with all that I lost all my self-confidence, my self-esteem, a sense of who I was. I got very depressed to the stage where I was actually quite suicidal and for my 21st birthday my dad asked me what I wanted and I said I want my face fixed. <laughs> so he actually looked into a private clinic that focuses on facial paralysis and he booked me to go there and we went and the first thing they said to me was that I didn't have Bell's palsy. Uh, and then I had a CT scan where my ENT surgeon told me they'd found a brain tumour. The gutting thing was that it was present in my first MRI scan in 2009. I'd been misdiagnosed and because of that my face will never get better. So to raise the £5,000 for this charity, I intend to do a York Music Night, a Brave the Shave, Abseiling and a charity football match where the team will be against the customers who will be in red t-shirts and I've got the whole area behind me doing separate store events as well.